Hello, hello. Guys, how are you? Hi, good evening. Can you listen to me? Yes, Hi. Teacher. Hey, how are you? Hello. How are you? Welcome. Welcome, David, Diana, Roberto. We have Jennifer, Claudia Carolina. Who else we have? Fatima Larisa. How are you guys? How are you this night on Thursday? Everybody ready to continue? Yes? Yes. Yes. Excellent. That's the best attitude. That's cool. Okay. Yesterday, right? We were with the beginning of the lesson five already. And remember that this one is the last one, right? The last section of this model. And we began with the present perfect. Now let's have some exercise here to start and refresh your mind about yesterday's topic. And it says here, how many times have you done these things this week? We are going to mention this. For example, in number one, cook dinner, wash the dishes, listen to music, do the laundry, go to a restaurant, clean the house. And here we have like some examples of regular past participles. As remember, we need to use past participle form with this tense. If we have visit, visited, like, liked, stopped, stopped, try, tried. In the case of irregular past participles, be, being, do, did. Now here, if we have like it, eaten, go, gone, have, had, here, heard, make, made, write, written, see, sing. Now, I need you to check here in the group of irregular past participles. There is one verb that is incorrect in the past participle. So I need you to identify it. Which verb is incorrect in past participle? Any idea? David? Hello. Hello. In this group of verbs, which is the verb that is incorrect in the past participle? Marilyn and the sister had gone to the restaurant. Mm, the verb, the form of the verb here. In the form of irregular past participles, there is one verb that is incorrect in the past participle form. Which is that cleaning. one? Sorry? It's cleaning. It's cleaning. It's another one. It's from this group, from this. Because here we have be, being in the past participle. That's correct, right? What about yeah. do and did? Is that correct? Did is the past participle of do. Is correct? Yes. You sure? Fatima, what do you think? It's incorrect. It's incorrect, okay. It is present? No. Do is the base form. Uh -huh. So the present, right? But did is the simple past. Okay. So what is the past participle? Is correct or is incorrect? Is incorrect. Mm -hmm. So what is the correct form? Do you remember? Didn't. Didn't no. is negative. Didn't is negative. Uh, uh, does. No. Does is the simple present, but for third person. Uh. No. Don't remember? <laughs> no, remember? All right. What about you, Versailles? Thank you. Do you remember? No, teacher. I don't no? remember. Don't? Nobody remembers? Remember <laughs> that the did is the simple past. But there are some of the verbs as they are irregular, they change. In the past participle, this one has to be like this. Done. 
So that one is the correct. So that was like a tricky, right? Había una trampita acá. So I needed you to identify. <laughs> now tell me, the rest of the verbs are okay? They are correct? Or is there another verb? Here, creo que es en cor. Which one? Is here. Here. Let me see. Here, her. No, that one is correct. No, it's okay. Mm. It, eaten. That's correct, right? In past participle, that is correct. Go, gone. That one is correct too. What about have and had? Is that correct? No, it's has. Has? Is but referring to the person. And it will be the auxiliary for their person. But that one is correct. So you can say, I have had a car, for example. Hear, her, that's correct. Make, made. What about make? Is that correct? What do you think? Correct or incorrect? Correct. This one is correct, exactly. Base for made, right? Actually, the simple past is also made and the past participle is also the same manner. Great. Right. The base form, past participle, written. Is that correct? Yes. Is that correct? Oh. Yes. Excellent. That's good. C. Sing. Is it correct? That is correct. Yes. That is correct. Very right. good job. Great. So the only one that was incorrect is this one, right? About done. So that it needed to be like this. I have done. Okay. So now let's check some examples here. It says, I have washed the dishes. This week, you have subject, auxiliary have, why? Because my subject is I, washed the dishes this week. Now, what is the verb in this example? What is the action? Washed. 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 Good. Is that regular or irregular verb? Regular. It's regular, excellent, it contains ED, very good. I have not listened to music. What is the verb? Listened. Listened, mm -hmm. excellent. Regular or irregular? Regular. That's regular, perfect, that's good. Glenda has done the laundry. What is the verb? Irregular. Done. Done. Done and is irregular, exactly. So look at this. This is the verb, the one that it was incorrect here. We have it here, correct? Has done. The next one, Sulma, can you please read the next example? Okay, Marilyn and her sister have gone to the restaurant. Great, thank you. What is the verb? Gone. Gone, perfect. Regular or irregular? Irregular. That's irregular, perfect. The next one, Freddie, can you please read it? Rose has not cleaned the Clint. house this week. That's good. Clint. 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 That's right. Great. Okay. Thank you. Regular or irregular? Regular. That's regular. Perfect. That's good. Okay. This one will be some of the examples, right? To remember about those and also how to formulate sentences here. Now, I need you to give me more examples. Let's see with this. Taking into account these verbs that you have here, we have talk, talked, talked. Same form because you have a regular verb. Cry, cried, cried. Regular verb. Ring, rang, rang. Regular or irregular? Irregular. irregular. That's irregular. Perfect. Swim, swam, swim. Regular or irregular? Irregular. 
Perfect. Eat, eat, eaten. Regular or irregular? Irregular. Great, that's good. Rice, rose, reason. Irregular. Regular. That's irregular. Perfect. Chase, chased, chased. Regular. regular. That's regular. Perfect. Go, went, gone. Irregular. That's irregular. Perfect. Okay. Now give me more examples. Let's see. Margarita. Are you with us, Margarita? Hi, teacher. Hello, girl. Can you please select one verb? Select the verb that you want. And okay. formulate the sentence. Remember, past eat. participle. Okay, eat. Ah, okay, the verb eat. Okay, go ahead. Say an affirmative okay. form, please. Make an affirmative. Ah, that's correct. Uh, like, Margarita mm -hmm. have... Has. Remember that person? Auxiliary has. Okay, Margarita has mm -hmm. eaten all the food. That's good. Has eaten, eaten all the food. All the fruit. Very good job. That's nice. All right. Now let's see. Continue. Daniela. Daniela Beatriz. Daniela, you present? Yes. Daniela, can you listen to us? Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay, yeah. select another verb, please. Eat. Another verb, a different verb. Chase. I'm sorry? Chase. Rice. No, chase. Oh, chase. Okay, go ahead. So that will be chased, right? In past participle. Uh, An example. Diego chase. Uh, what is mean the trash? I have. Uh, what is the subject? Uh, Diego. Oh, Diego. Okay, Diego has. Remember what is chase? Eh, detrás. Perseguir. Perseguir. Okay. Chase. Diego, Diego has chased. Diego has chased. Uh, your dog? The dog. Yes? The dog? All right, that's good. Diego has chased the dog. Very good. Nice. Daisy, thank you, girl. Just select another verb. Um, Anna has talked. Talk? We talk. Anna has talked uh, with mom. All right, with mom. Very good job. Nice. Really good. Continue with Saida. Camilo has mm -hmm. cried. Ah, that's good. Has Forever cried. Luna. Has cried? Forever Luna. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Very popular, guys. Yes. <laughs> has cried. Forever Luna. Very good. Thank you. Excellent job. Nice. Evel. Evil, are you here with us? I think he said will not be connected. Sandy, Sandy Roxana? Sandy is here, no? Jennifer? Jennifer Sarai? Marvin? Hello. Hello. Select okay. another verb, please. Ryzen? Rice. Ah, very good. Okay. Risen. Okay. The student having rice in their their hand during mm -hmm. the class. During the class. Very good. So that's plural, right? Yes. Excellent. The very good. The students haven't risen their hands during the class. That's very good. Nice one. Great. Sumba, give us another example. Okay. I have gone to the pitch. 
I have gone to the beach. Very good job. Nice. Fatima. Yes. Um, solo ayuda, ¿qué significa ring? Oh, ring. For example, yeah. your cell phone rings. Ring, ring, ring. Uh, Sonar. My, my, my cell phone ring. Uh -huh. But remember, messages. remember you need to use in present perfect. My cell phone. My cell phone. Uh -huh. uh, rings. Has. Has rung, has, uh, has, has rung yesterday. No, because it's not definitely mm. past. Maybe tonight. Sash. I'm sorry? Ah. For message? For message? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. By WhatsApp, for example. Or my cell phone uh, yes. has rung. Like this. My cell phone. Cell phone. Has rang. Uh, for example, if you say many times. Okay. My cell phone has rung many times. Do you remember what is many times? Alguna veces. A lot of times. Okay. Remember? Muchas, Muchas veces. Aha, uh -huh, that mm -hmm. is correct. So that is referring that is possible that. The cell phone continues ringing. Ha sonado muchas veces. So, present perfect es un periodo de tiempo que aún no ha culminado. O una acción que ha sucedido y que es posible que se vuelva a repetir a futuro. No definitivamente como simple past, que mi teléfono sonó. Right? So it's present perfect. Now, let's go ahead on the last one that we got here. Okay, you use ring. Now, let's see the last verb that we have. Daniela, are you here, Daniela? They have problems with the microphone. Okay, thank you, Eva, for informing. Roberto, okay, thank you, guys, okay. Daniela, are you present? Yes. Yes, okay. Now, with swim, right? You need to use swim in the present perfect. Alex has swim. Has? Has swim. Has swim, uh-huh. In the afternoon. In the afternoon, that's very good. Nice one. Great, guys. Okay, we have these examples here. Now, let's go ahead on more material here. I'm going to continue this one. This is light show. And we have with the next point we got. In this session, we will study the present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participles. So we're going to watch the video about here. Hi, in this lesson, we will study present perfect with already and yet. No problem with the video? No, no problem. problem. No? Okay, great, thank you. Yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. 
its equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown. Someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples, has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Okay, to refresh here about the video, we know that here for present perfect, we will use these auxiliaries. We have have or has, and then we have the past participle of the verb, then we have a complement. And it says also that the verb have or has will depend on the person we'll talk about. Yes, yeah, remember that it depending on the subject, right? So if we have, we use present perfect, when we want to express actions with began in the past and continued in the present. So that is possible that you can repeat it, but it's not like a definitely past. That's different. For example, if we have, she has worked in the bank for five years. That means that she still continues working in the bank. She started in the past, right? Now, this period of time, five years indicate the quantity of years. We have had the same car for 10 years. That means you bought the car 10 years ago. Another case here. When we make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, that means this duration of the time is not concluded yet, has not finished. For example, this week has not finished yet because, okay, we passed Monday, Tuesday, uh, and like Wednesday, today is Thursday, uh, tomorrow it will be Friday. So to finalize, we will need like three more days. It still is possible to have more, more actions in this week. For example, I have worked hard. I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. So now in this one, notice that we have the subject. Then you have auxiliary, the verb in the past participle. Then we have the complement. Same here. We have a subject, auxiliary, past participle, and then we have the complement. Now here we have the case of a negative manner. Subject. Now we have a contraction, haven't, past participle all the time of the verb, and the complement. This is another function. Repeated actions in an, a specific period of time between the present and the past. Let's see the example. They have seen that film six times. So 
What is the quantity of occasions that they have seen that film? What is the quantity? Six, six. times. Six. Uh -huh, that's all right. So six times. So it's possible that they can still continue seeing, right, or watching that film. It's possible that they do it in the future. So now this quantity of occasions is going to increase. Now it will be, okay, they have seen that film seven times, eight times. Maybe it's really good, that film, but you can repeat it, right? Repeat and watch it again. We have eaten at that restaurant many times. Hasn't it happened to you that you have your favorite restaurant? So you don't go there only one time, right? Not only once. You want to continue, right? Or you want to repeat that action and eat that delicious food from there. Now, is there any restaurant that you love to go there? Wilfred, do you have a favorite restaurant? Um, China Walk. China Walk, yeah, they sell delicious food, actually. And how many times have you visited China Walk this year? For uh, four times. Four times. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. Are you thinking about going again? Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe, right? So mm -hmm. it's possible that you can visit that place again in this year. Why? Because this year has not finished yet. So that you can repeat that activity. Let's go ahead on another one. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown. Unknown is that we check that. We don't know the specific time when the action started to happen. For example, someone has eaten my soup. We don't know who. Or we don't know when that soup was eaten. Solo sabemos que alguien se la ha comido, alguien se la ha bebido, right? But we don't know when this happened. No sabemos cuándo sucedió. Now, in this one, someone has stolen my wallet. What is stolen? This one is my action. It in the bar? <laughs> in the bar, right? So if you go to the bar, okay, you know that. I'm this sorry, one. on the bus, on the bus. Oh, my God. I heard that you said on the bar. Okay, I said, oh, no. <laughs> on the bus, yes, that is true. Not only the wallet, right, but cell phones. <laughs> cell phone is very common. So when you say, okay, someone has stolen my cell phone or my wallet, my money, you don't know when this one happens. We just know that the activity has occurred. Marcus has helped many homeless people. What is the action here? Helped. That he helped. Aha, uh -huh, helped, right? Helped, it will be the action. Now, uh, what is homeless people? People that doesn't have a home. That's right. Almost. Thank you. These people who don't have a home. That's correct. Good one. So, you know, here it's saying that Marcos has helped many homeless people. We don't know when Marcos started to help. But the important thing here is that he has done that action. He has performed this activity. Now, let's mark another point about already and yet. Yesterday, we saw an introduction about it. Now, let's see more specific. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. This one is possible that it can go also at the end. For example, we've already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? but I've already done it. So that already, it means something that has already happened. Now, this one goes for, let me mention that is for affirmatives and also to formulate questions. So it's not for negatives. Now, the other case is with yet. What does yet mean? It says that yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. That means an action has occurred or probably has not occurred yet. We expect that has happened. 
And now here, we can use it for negatives and questions too, but never for affirmatives. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples. Let's see who can read the example. Daisy, can you please read it? The question. Has the bus arrived yet? Very good, thank you. Yet is an adverb. This one, if it's a question as we were mentioning, then can go at the end. Normally or usually it goes at the end. Now we have another question here. Freddy? Yes. Hi, Freddy. Can you please read the next one? Okay. Have you done your homework? That's right. Thank you. Let's see about the answer. What's the answer? Not yet. Not yet. Very good. This one will be a very short and simple answer. Not yet. That means aún no. But when you have it in the question, the context changes. Has the pause arrived? It's like, ¿ya llegó? ¿Ya llegó el correo? ¿Ya llegó la correspondencia? ¿O ya ha llegado? Es como para tener una expectativa de que algo ya ha ocurrido. But in the negative, that means no, aún no. You see, depending, right? If it's a question, it's expectancy. But in the form of the negative, it's something that is still has not occurred by the moment. But it's possible that later or in the future can occur. Questions so far? Any doubts, comments? Um, I have a question. Go ahead, uh, tell me. What what means already? Already, um, already no, no, no. means it's like ya. Yeah. But it's an only affirmatives and the question forms. For example, here. We've already had our breakfast. Ah, ya hemos eh, desayunado. That is already. Algo que ya ha sucedido. Okay, thank you, Miss. My pleasure. Any other question? Miss? Yes. ¿Cómo responderíamos la forma positiva? Uh, has the pot arrived yet? Mm -hmm. Sure, we're going to write it here like a possibility. Suppose that this one is affirmative. Has the post arrived yet? Yes. And now tell me what is the subject we're talking about? Um, the post. It. The post, right? Exactly. We can substitute by a subject. Exactly. And as it's not a person, we can use it. As a short answer, then I need to finish until the auxiliary. As a singular third person, what is the correct auxiliary? Have or has? Has. Has, perfect. That is correct. Now, another possibility is that you want to include the form of the other other, but in an affirmative manner. For example, yes, it already has. And it's short. Both oh, forms okay. are okay. Both forms are mm -hmm. correct. So that depends on you. If you want to answer it very short and very punctual, you say, okay, yes, it has. And that's very it. Very short. Very <laughs> short, exactly. Yeah. Very, very short. Yes. <laughs> but if you want to be like formal, right? Yes, it has. Or if you want to include here and to say, yes, it already has. Si, sí, ya ha llegado. That will be in the affirmative form. Now, if it's negative, how will the negative be? Yeah. It can be it in forms. No, it hasn't yet. Aún, yeah, todavía no. That will be for, uh -huh. no, todavía no, no, aún no. Or simply, not, not yet. Not, not yet. No. Aún no. And the two forms are correct. You want to be very practical? Okay. Then you say, not, not yet. And it's the most common, the most common way to answer is say, not, not yet. Yes, it has. So all it depends on it. Okay. Thank yes. you, Miss. My pleasure, guys. Any other question? 
We got more examples there and actually exercise. Let's practice it. Let's move to the next one here. We got more examples there. Affirmatives, negatives, and question form. Let's see in the case of the affirmatives. We're going to read it. Wendy, Wendy Adamaris. Yes. Hi, girl. Help us, please. Can you read the first one? My family and I have traveled to the travel already. Uh -huh. Traveled. Traveled to Spain. Traveled to Spain already. 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 Thank you. That's good. Already. That's good. Nice. Now, notice that here, remember, if it's an affirmative and you are using already, that means ya. Algo que ya ha ocurrido. So if you say, my family and I have traveled to Spain already, that is, mi familia y yo ya hemos viajado a España. Pero pues sabemos que la estructura de español acá no va a ser lo mismo, ¿verdad? Si no va a ser ya, hemos viajado a España ya. Usualmente no lo utilizamos así. But that is for the affirmative. Now let's see the other case. Eric, are you here, Eric? Thank you, Raquel, for informing. You will be listening. Okay, Eric is not here. Selena? Selena Yamilet? No? Estela? Yes. Yes, help us, please. Can you read the next one? The bell. The bell has high already. 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 Oh, okay. Very good. Thank you. What is bell? Do you remember what is bell? Campana. Excellent. And actually, this one happens at school, right? There are many of the schools that they still have this. So that's one occurs with this. Hey, ya ha sonado la campana, right? So it's time to go to class or it's time to go to break, right? It can work in both manners. What's the next part? Uh, I mentioned that also already can go into different positions. You can use it at the end or also it can go after the auxiliary like this. The cat has already eaten its food. So at the end or after the auxiliary. That means it goes before the verb. I have a question. Go ahead, tell me. Uh, will be correct like in the first sentence say, my family and I already traveled to Spain. To Spain. My family and I have already, have already. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, exactly, yeah. after, after the auxiliary, that is correct. Okay. You can use two okay. positions. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. What Thank will you. be, you're welcome. What will be like a not correct in the position will be my family and I already have traveled. So you can go after the auxiliary or at the end. That will be the correct positions. Okay, this is my, my pleasure, girl. Now, this will be affirmatives. Now, in the negatives, we have yet. Remember that in the case of the negative form, then we need to use yet in that form. Teacher, For example, teacher, yes, um, I'm sorry, I have a question. Yes, tell me. So in this case, I can't say I I already checked the information. For example, I've, 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 I've already <laughs> checked the information. You can use it like this. Let me write okay, it here. Okay, but I, I can say it, is the, say it I already. Uh -huh. Immediately after the subject, it will be incorrect. Ah, uh, okay. Just that here Thank is a you. contraction. Mm -hmm. This is a contraction. Or, Look. or I have already. I, exactly, that is correct. You uh, can use complete okay. or a contraction because in the contraction, mm -hmm. you're always using I've, the auxiliary. Uh -huh. And always after the auxiliary. Yes, I've mm -hmm. already. I've already. Okay. Exactly. Thank I've you, already. You. You're welcome. I've already what? I'm sorry. Can you say the compliment? Uh, I already checked. Ah, very good. Checked. Checked. Checked, checked the information, right? You said. Yes. Information. That's all right. Yeah, that is correct. I've. Okay. Just like we have a contraction, right? It's the same position. 
Just that you have a, a contraction. For a contraction. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Let's see in the case of the negatives. You have not seen the Titanic yet. Like, todavía no has visto, or aún no has visto. That's negative. Can you read the next one, please? Let's see. Jennifer, are you here now? No. Raquel? Raquel is connecting right now. Raquel, are you here? No. Daisy? The second one, please. Your, Your relatives? Your relatives haven't gotten a new house yet. That's right. Great. So this one, what is the subject? Relatives. 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 Excellent. Relatives. Notice that here we have a contraction. Contraction of have not. Now, the verb garden. What is the base form of garden? Get. 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 Perfect. Notice that here, the position of yet, the most usual form, it goes at the end. Now, another position, it will be after the auxiliary, right? It's the same case as already there. Let's see the next case. Eh, Wilfredo, can you continue, please? Uh, Carmen has not finished the budget yet yet that is correct very good job night one what is the verb that we have finished finished excellent regular or irregular uh, regular that is regular perfect so we're doing here that yet that yet is putting emphasis in that the action has not occurred yet no by the moment but this one doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Probably in some minutes, it's going to occur. Any question about this part of yet? No questions. No? Okay, now let's go ahead on the interrogative forms. In the type of the question, you can use both already or yet. Let's see about the question that we have. Daisy, can you help us, please? The first one. Have you? Have you sent the essay? A, a, essay? Essay already? Mm -hmm. Thank yes. you so much. Already. Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. Thank you. Uh, Very good. Thank you. Marvin, continue, please. Help us. Yes, I already have. Great. No, I haven't. No, yet not. No, no not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Very good. Thank you. That's good. Look at what diversity of options that we have. If we have affirmative, the simplest form it will be, yes, I have. And that's it. You are affirming this. You're giving the answer. Another option, if you want to be more formal, it will be including the adverb. Already and yet, remember that they are adverbs. Yes, I already have. Negative. No, I haven't. Simple way. The easiest way. The most practical. No, not yet. Let's see with the next case. Sulma, can you help us, please? The next one. Has, has the company paid you yet? Mm -hmm. Yes, it already has not, not yet. No, not yet. Okay. No, not, no yet. not yet. Very good. Thank you. Also, here you have different options. If it's affirmative, yes, it already has. Now, my subject here is it. What is it referring to? The company. Exactly. That's good. So that you don't need to repeat again, right? That you can also do it. Like, has the company paid you yet? Yes, the company has paid me yes or yes the company has already paid me not necessary to use all the complete information be more fluent be more practical go straight to the point or negative no not yet let's go ahead on the next part Fatima can you go on please the next part has the mechanic, mechanic? 
Fixed. 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 The car yet. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, he already has. No, not yet. Very good job. Nice. Miss, okay. yes, Miss I have a question. I have many fixed. Yes, yes. Oh, the meaning. Yes. Fixed yes. is a synonym of repair. So if you say um, fix mm -hmm. is equals to repair. They have the same meaning. So it will be the same to say, um, has the mechanic repaired the car yet? They're synonyms. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, girl. Any question about this? So remember, the only relationship that they have is that they can be formulated with questions. But in the time of dividing them for affirmative form is only already. For negatives, it's only yet. Questions? No teacher. Okay, let's go ahead then. We got an exercise here, another exercise to continue practicing here. In this one, we're going to complete these conversations using the present perfect. Then we're going to practice it. Number one, we have the example here. Have you done much exercise this week? We're going to use the verb that we have in parentheses. What will be the answer here? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Okay, that's good. But this one is like complete answer, right? Yes, I have. Let me put it here. Yes, I have already. And you need been. to use the verb been. been. Exactly. Very good. Been. Very good. Been. That is great. Good. What about number two? It's another question. Have. Have, uh huh. Played. Uh huh. Have you played? Correct. All right. Have you played any sports this month? No, I. I. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't what? Look at that here. You need to conjugate. The verb have oh. in negative. I have, I haven't have. No. You need past participle of have. Look, here have. we have. All right, have. that's good. I have. Yes, I have. Had. Very good, Joe. That's nice. So, in this case, you have two forms of the use of have. But one is an auxiliary of present perfect. And the other one is the verb that you are conjugated. But in the negative manner, I haven't had. I haven't had. That's great. Good. What about number three? How many movies? You need to use the verb see. How do you? How? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Seen. Have you? You have mm -hmm. the answer here, actually, right? Mm -hmm. It's a gift. <laughs> it's a present. <laughs> All right. How many movies have you seen to this month? Actually, look, actually, don't confuse it that in the actuality, it doesn't mean actualmente. That means the hecho. Mm -hmm. So this one is negative of C. I haven't seen. I haven't seen. I haven't seen, correct. Haven't seen. I haven't seen. Let's see in number four. Have. Uh huh. That's a question, right? Let me fix this one. Have you been? Uh -huh. Yes. Let me put this one 
in a better position. I haven't seen. Okay, now we see a bit. It. Okay, so number four, I'm sorry, it's a question. Have. Uh huh. Have be, you been? Have you been? That is right. Have you been to any interesting parties recently? No. The verb is go, but in negative. I have. No, I haven't. Been. I haven't gone. gone. Yeah. Remember that went is the past, but this will be yeah. the past participle. Haven't gone. Haven't gone. All right. What about number five? The verb is cook. Have. Have. You cook? Uh -huh. Have you cooked? Have you cooked, cooked, right? Past participle. Well, regular verb. Have. You cooked. Have you cooked, correct? Have you cooked any food this week? Yes. I have. Uh, all right. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I have already made. made. Excellent. Yeah, he hecho. Yes, I have already made dinner twice, two times. What about six? It's a question too. Have you gone? Mm -hmm. How have many gone. times have you How gone? Many times have you have you gone? gone? Right. Gone. That's right. How many times have you gone out to eat this week? And the answer. I have eaten. That's all right. I have eaten fast food restaurants a couple of times. Great. Okay. Questions with this exercise? Not this figure. Yes. Okay. Now I have another one that is from the platform here. So let's see how the exercise goes. Okay, let's check here. It says complete these conversations. Use the present perfect. Use the verbs in brackets. This one is a question. Like the similar, right? Exercise we have just done. Which one could be correct? Have sang, mm has -hmm. sang, or have done? Have mm -hmm. done. Have done, right? This will be your correct. Now read the question. How will it be correct? Have you have you done much exercise this week? Excellent. Have you done much exercise this week? That is great. Good one. Nice. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to pass the list, but I don't know if you have any question with this. No questions about it? No questions. No? Okay, we need to pass the list. To check the attendance. Let me know that you are present, please. Let me see who's writing. Eric has interference. Thank you, Eric. Okay, let's check the attendance list. Let's begin. Andrea de Los Angeles. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Betsaida Jasmine. Present teacher. Thank you. Brenda Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Daniela. David Moises. Present. Thanks a lot. Daisy Stefania. Present. Thanks. Diana Jan Millet. Diana Jan Millet. He's writing. 
Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Ever Jasil. Ever also has problem with connection, right? With the microphone, I think. Eric Ronaldo also wrote in the chats. Yes, he wrote in the chat. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Ah, okay, finally. That's good. <laughs> Estela Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Estela. Fatima Larisa. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Freddy Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thanks a lot. Germán Ulises. Germán Ulises. Jennifer Sarai. Jennifer Sarai. Julia Margarita. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maria Mercedes. Maria Mercedes. Marvin Vitalicio. Teacher, con permiso. Este, Jennifer Sarai, si estoy presente, solo que no, pues, no me sé. Okay. Ya, el, el taxi. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you for informing me. Present, Miss Wings. Marvin. Yes. Yeah, right. Present. Thank you, Marvin. Pablo Alejandro. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Pablo. Raquel Esther. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Roberto Carlos. Present. Thank you. Sandy Roxana. Present. Thank you. Wendy Adamaris. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Wendy Beatriz. Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. Wilfredo Alberto. Here I am. Miss. Thank you. William Alexander. William Alexander. Selena Yamilet. Selena Yamilet. Teacher, en el chat puso presente. All right, thank you. And Zulma Natividad. I'm present. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, let's move to the next part. Okay, after the use here of already and yet, let's formulate some questions. Let's see if I ask you in a question here. Let's ask some others, but we're going to use these verbs and formulate one here. For example, if I ask um, Wilfredo, Wilfredo, have you cried? Have you cried for money already? Um, the question yes uh -huh. <laughs> repeat please <laughs> sure have you cried for money already ya has llorado por dinero have you cried for money already yes <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody right now I need <laughs> okay what's the possibility of answer that you have yes Yes, I I have. Okay, very good. Yes, I have. What's the other possibility that you can include the adverb? Uh, yes, yes, I have already. Yes, oh, I, 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 I. Uh huh. Or I already uh -huh. have. Yes, I already have. Now, this is the only case in the one you are going to use the. Um, form of the adverb after the subject. Esta es la única manera en que podemos utilizar el, la forma del adverbio después del de sujeto, cuando sea una respuesta corta. Mm -hmm. Ya que una respuesta corta afirmativa siempre termina en el auxiliar. A menos que no lleva al auxiliar, solo diría yes, already, sí, ya, and that's it. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Pero si queremos ser como más formales, we say, yes, I already have. Or yes, I have. That will be correct. 
Okay, yes. thank, you. thank you. Now, Wilfredo, you formulate another question and you ask Betsaida. Ask a different question. Select one of these birds. Puede ser uno de estos tipos o algo otro que usted quisiera utilizar. Okay. Um, Selena, how do you zoom? zoom? To Betsaida, right? Betsaida. Oh, perdón. <laughs> uh, Betsaida, how do you, how do you zoom? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, yesterday? Remember, no. it's not definitely past. Oh. No es un tiempo que ya está terminado, es algo que ya ha sucedido probablemente. Ya has nadado en tu vida, right? Oh. Algo que ya has realizado, pero no un tiempo que ha culminado. Por eso no puede ser definitivamente pasado. Si no sería, did you swim? Nadaste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces sería, how did you Ajá. Zoom. Very good. Have you zoom? And you can mention a different, for example, in Coatepeque Lake, in El Tunco oh. Beach. Mention a different place. Have you zoom in um, uh -huh. the Conchalillo Beach? All right, that's good. Have you? Have you zoom at Conchalillo. Conchalillo, bitch. And you can include the already, right? Mm -hmm. To emphasize, I just nadado en Conchalillo. Already. Repeat it, please, Wilfredo. Have you soon at Conchalillo Beach already? Nice, thank you. No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Very good job. That's nice. Okay, Betsaida. Now you're going to formulate the question to Eric. Eric, can you answer? Can you participate? No? David? David Moises? No? Margarita? Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay. okay. Formulate the question to her. Margarita, have you chased? Have you? I'm sorry. Have you chased? Ah, good. Chased? Your cell phone with other person? Chased. Okay. Chased. <laughs> with, a, with another person? <laughs> no, then I haven't. You have I'm sorry, sorry. Then you have chased the person. Ha perseguido a la persona con su teléfono. Yes? No, I haven't. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so the <laughs> question, it will be like this. Have you chased another person with your cell phone? Yes? Can you repeat it beside that, please? Have you chased another person with your cell phone? That's right. So, in Margarita, answer was? No, I haven't. Excellent. That's good. No, I haven't. Or not, not yet. It could be two, right? So, it can be on different manners here. All it depends on what is the form that you want to answer it. Questions? No questions about present perfect. Questions, questions will be will appear in the test. I'm sorry. The the question will be appears uh, when. Oh, we will have appear. It. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That when is normally. Have a test. <laughs> that is what normally happens, right? No questions yes. in the test. Yes, I have a question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right all right guys it's been a pleasure to finish one more week with you remember to work in the platform 
and we'll continue on Monday. Remember that you need to advance, right, in the platform. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so me. much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Me. Thank you, teacher. Thanks a lot. Have a happy weekend. Good See you. Thank, Thank you. Happy weekend. Good weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. See you the next week. See you the next week. Thank you so much. Take care.